thanks for staying with us TNT. Yes, cup of two on this Christmas Eve morning here in TNT and I'm about to share a cup with a gentleman that I've known and seen perform for such a long time. Double road march champion. One of the sweetest voices in the soca business. Show we in Winchester. Ah, we boy. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure, man. Pleasure. So sure, thank you very much for being here. Um, long overdue. A long overdue. Long overdue. But they say nothing happens before it's time. Correct. And the time is right because you have so many things happening. Yeah. All of a sudden, um, showing Winchester has popped back on the scene. Things there. Yeah. Things here. Plenty of things happening, and of course. The fact that you're called for, for um, um, a show like this means that I'm in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, no, I mean, to be honest, uh, when the first thing that jumped me, um, I, I'm a Christmas man. So, yeah. so, so I uh, said I'm listening to Christmas music, uh, taking the soca as it mm -hmm. come, but you know. Mm -hmm. But when I heard my, my wife told me, her children's song, uh, and veteran hit me. Oh, man. That song, um, that's all a little different. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I mean, we, we, much. where did that come from? from where were you? Because uh, did you did you pen it as well? The 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 selections. Well, that's fine. It's about three songs. So we have Head Gone. Right. We have Welcome, which is one that is doing extremely well, and we have on the Jambian rhythm one called um, Girls Born to Wine. And it's Christmas. So you can it, have a little wine there. Wine, wine, wine there, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the songs were penned. One was penned by Jabalani. Right. Um, um, and T Team Rosa, then the other was penned by, I must say, Big Up Nigel Rojas, for That's Welcome. Right. And um, on the Jambian Rhythm, penned by yours truly, Shelby Winchester. Right. And on, well, I should say, very soon a song will be released called um, Truck Drivers. Truck that Drivers. That one for the, for the masqueraders and a chant that we, we all keep saying, um, at Carnival, but of course, you know, I love my Christmas, eh? Yeah. Known to be Goonians, we love with Christmas. So I'm still trying to get something out in time, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, because, 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 because Christmas is the Carnival, now it happens. So, so. Yeah. But you, 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 you did Christmas music in the past? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah I had the, the, the great opportunity to um, do a recording with the Baron. Right. And that's, that's my act boy from, from time I started, I always loved hearing the Baron sing. So yeah. to have the opportunity to be in studio with him and the fact that he actually answered the call to do a song with me right. meant a lot. So yeah. I have that song with him and I also have a song with Philo back then. I, yes. so yeah, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to, I want, I want to now keep producing those Christmas songs yeah. because my mom she always said, show him why don't you do more Christmas uh, parang and you know, carol so. It's oh, something I'm gonna do. So, so mom encouraged yeah. you to do Christmas music. <clears throat> it's time enough. Yeah, time yeah, enough. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's something that I think I always say. Um, we, we ignore Christmas. And, and oh, they last. And they last. And they last. They last. Year they after last. year. Have certain songs, la laughing children. I remember that from primary from school. Singing yeah, that. Way back, yeah. And when you hear this song, it brings a smile to your face because you, you remember an, an occasion, a time, yeah. a place. Tell me, tell me, tell me quickly about the band You. Because yeah. um, you, you brought, you, you, you made the move a few years ago. How, yes. long, how long is the band? In that like is the now five years now. Five years already. She interested in You. Um, from Caribbean traffic jam, I moved on. I yes. wanted to, as with everyone, you want to having your own is a blessing. And um, at that time, the things that I wanted to do, it was wrong of me to try to impose those changes on someone else. So I would try to showcase to the owner of the band. You know, we could do so by so, but again, if it's working, it's not broken. It's working for them. Why change? I wanted to get into the festivals. I wanted to try traveling and doing different shows. Now, it might not be as big as the carnival that we have, right. but I always believe that carnival is here. We know this. It's, you're, you're preaching to the converted. People already know what carnival is. There mm -hmm. are areas that we've gone to that you, you explain to them and you have the chance to sing to them and you're now transforming someone into a soca lover and then having them come to your island and see it. But also, the exchange of the music and the values, the music festivals per se, you go on stage and you have the opportunity to sing. You, it's not someone timing you because you have five bands or four bands going on stage. And it's not about shouting. You get to sing to an, uh, uh, the audience and then you, you talk about your country. So when we had the chance to go to Brazil <clears throat> and 
um, that opportunity come and the band we got together and we went down there. We, they, they explained to us the kind of performance they wanted. And we explained to them how all music is different. Now they have their carnival. Mm -hmm. But Soka, Trinidad Soka is so infectious people. When we started, when you see the reaction that we got, I wish that I had the, the, the eyes of the world right there to see that I could take mm -hmm. it and show the Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. how popular and how creative and how blessed we are. So is it that you now want to just, it's constituting on taking soca music outside and not necessarily in the carnival? Never forsake your home, regardless right. of what you must touch on the music here. So you'll always do music for home. But there's a, a, a wide market out there. Um, the trip to Dubai highlighted that again. Dubai, you went yeah, to Dubai. We just mm -hmm. went to Dubai that's what, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And it's about pushing the music. So my band now, what we've been doing is, my band is in segments. So according to where we're going, we could break the band into different segments according to the budget of the promoter to get the team to fly to fulfill that goal. Right. And then we exchange numbers and contacts, bring them here, or and we go to them. Yeah. And it's always introducing the, the foreigners to what we have. The next step is putting on an event that you can bring them to, because remember, you're selling an idea, you're selling a concept, and you need to make sure that when these people come, is what you said it would be. It's not just say, hey, come to Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, and they come, and then there's so many things going on, but it doesn't cater to what their needs are. I'm, I'm sensing that the event you have coming up yes. on uh, New Year's Day, is yes. it? Chabu Tobago the experience. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That is it. Tobago so love the experience. Sue so in Winchester, guys, here with us this morning on this Christmas Eve morning. Uh, lots to still get into with him. Um, he has a big event coming up, as I said, on January 1st. Tobago the experience. I don't know if tickets still available. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Tobago love the experience. Tobago love yeah. the experience. Yeah. So, We'll talk to him about, much more about that and some of his new music, the direction that he continues to go in. He is, however, joining me in the kitchen to rule yes. out a recipe. You cook? Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. I cook Tobago dish, yeah? Yeah. No, you know we think it's Roast well, bacon. Roots, and yeah. And this, this healthy bake, I mean, people, when you make a Tobago, the bake has to be fat. <laughs> now, when you put this, the shark or the fish in between the bake, yeah. there must be... In case there was an accident, that big shark of fish must be safe. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 it has to be healthy. Understand? So we do it, I just said that, we, so we do it fish. Ah, we do it a salmon. Ah, nice. We do it a salmon. Okay. We're rolling out the recipe next because you see the folks at Massey Stores do stay with us. Show in Winchester joins me in the kitchen here at the Global Deco Center, the home of Aya Kitchen. Stay with us, TNT. Cup of Joe on this Christmas Eve morning. Mm -hmm.